A lot of artists and a lot of people who aren't artists have the misconception that as an artist you just sit behind your little cubby hole and you create pictures and whatever comes out of your head and whatever comes off your pencil is going to be a masterpiece. And I think my students, especially with my high standards, have realized this is not easy. That's why they call it artwork. I always tell my students that's why they call it artwork. And as a, someone who's had a oh, more 30 plus year experience as a professional artist, I've been able to show them the ups and the downs. It really starts a lot of questions. And with questions come real insightful curiosity. And then before you know it, we're digging really in deep into what it means to be a professional. What my students will hear from me over and over and over again, that drawing really is probably the most foundational language of every art form, whatever it is, whether it's sculpture, whether it's painting, whether it's drawing, whether it's photography. When we're trying to communicate an idea to someone who's not visual or doesn't have the vision we do, we have to explain it somehow. And we usually will draw on a napkin, we'll put it in a little notebook, we try to draw something. And the class we were having was life drawing. And so we're drawing what is recognized as primarily the hardest subject matter in the world to draw, which is the human form. And it's hard and difficult only because we're humans. We relate with humans every day. We look at each other in the eye. And we're so familiar with just those subtle little quirks or gestures of the body or the a twitch of the eye that they can mean a lot of different things. And how do you capture that? It's only through observation. You draw and you draw and you draw and you draw. If you choose the right school, probably you've taken away a lot of frustration because you've been exposed to some of the best minds in the business. You've been exposed to some of the most talented people in the business who are willing to share with you all their hard knocks and all their experiences and all their successes right there face to face personally. They're willing to explain why things were easy or difficult, and they're willing to explain how they became the person they did. Every one of our professors has an MFA. They have the terminal degree in their field. You're working directly with the professors and not graduate students. There's a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Our classes, and mine tend to be some of the larger ones, but never larger than 12 students, mostly around six to eight students. My students get a lot of my one-on-one -on -one time. We want world thinkers. We want thinkers outside the box who happen to be, in this case, picture makers. Uh, but I found half of my students aren't even art students. They're liberal arts students who have a, a passion for or a love for painting or drawing or just an interest in something they've always been curious about, would like to know more about it. Uh, I'm a big fan of being a teacher and I try to dissuade the students from the belief that someone is born with talent. It comes down to experience and it just comes down to exercise and work. And that's what makes someone talented. That's the evidence. And once they see that and they can see what they've done in a semester, then they start believing. And once I have them believing, they can do anything. They really can. And that's all I want. That's the perfection I'm looking for. <laughs>